Hello, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA San Andreas video. If you finished the Customs Fast Track mission, and if you watched the video I've done on it, link in the upper right hand corner, a new open ended mission begins for CJ in the form of exporting stolen vehicles. Now, this is actually a great way to make some quick cash and build up some money for CJ and buy some stuff. But again, there are some nuances, which I will get into in this video. Something interesting happened between the introduction and now this video. I'm going to explain how to do car exporting. And so I had to save the game and start kind of fresh. As you can see, CJ doesn't have any body armor. He lost it due to a battle with the police. So I'm going to get some body armor for CJ before I get into this whole um, stealing and exporting the stolen vehicles. Again, you can make some really good cash real quickly. Now, the dock is a very quick hop, skip, and jump from CJ's garage. You just drive down the railroad tracks here to the import-export dock. You don't need to use the roadways. And once you get to the ship and crane here, there is a list of vehicles that you need to steal. And the list is over here. Now I'm going to explain something about this list. As you see all these vehicles on this list, you have to steal all of them, and then another list appears. You might have a vehicle that would be an obvious choice to export, like the Banshee I showed at the start of this video, but it's not on this list, so stealing it won't do you any good. Oh, it'll be good if you shove it in your garage and wait until it's available on the list. But again, you have to steal the vehicles on the list. And so I'm going to go to one of the easiest vehicles on the list to steal and bring back once I get myself situated because there is, I'm going to stop here for a second, and I have printed out a list, or basically the map, of where the vehicles are located to steal. And you can find it online by Googling or DuckDuck, whatever you use, to browse and find the map locations of all the vehicles for this mission. And again, you can look it up. I'm not going to. I had Googled it, printed it out for a previous game I played. And back when GTA San Andreas was still very popular and it had websites dedicated to it with location maps, etc. But the first vehicle I'm going to go after is the Stretch Limousine. And now I'm going to drive over to where the limousine is because it's one of the vehicles on the first list, and it is actually right in this area. And in fact, I'm going to, well, get in an accident, but eh, what the hell, this is GTA. And drive around here, at this point, the vehicle is actually located behind CJ's garage, or the new Wang Auto thing that CJ now owns, and it is in this area right here. I'll drive to it. It is the stretch limo, and it is actually 
over behind Wang's auto, and you come up here, and there is the limo. If you step into that red circle, you activate some sort of mission, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just back the limo up, the alarm goes off, and bring it back to the export. You can see in the upper left corner, you can export this vehicle. So I'm going to bring it back to the docks and export it. You want to park the vehicle under the or above the gray circle. I'll show you by running CJ around it. There's usually a gray circle on the ground, and that indicates where the magnet is hovering. And then you can just run into the crane and it will be the magnet will be above the vehicle and you want to lower it down slowly once you have it raise the vehicle up and again you want to use that gray circle to kind of be a way to guide you when you put the car in the red circle you don't have to be a hundred percent dead center you just have to have that gray circle inside the red circle even partially and i'm going to move this around and let the waving of the car stop but i'm going to lower it now because i'm sure it's going to be in there let the car stop waving and lower it down and hit the b button hey I've delivered the vehicle for export. And you hit the Y button to check and say, yep, I did it. And then $40,000. Awesome. Quick money. Now I'm going to show you the, the list. Nope. I'm actually going to show you this interesting area near the export area. You see a bike in the corner over there? This is actually a riding mission. If you were to jump on the bike, you would activate the mission. I might do a video of it a little later on. You actually get a really high-powered bike at the end, even if you fail. Now, I'm going to go back to the list, and I'll show you the list. And on that list, you'll see the stretch limo has been crossed off you can't bring in multiples of a vehicle you have to bring in one of every vehicle on the list and you can't bring in vehicles like i said the banshee at the beginning which would be an obvious vehicle to steal until that list appears with that vehicle and there will be three lists of vehicles you can make again good money on this and you got to figure out where to find vehicles. There's lists on lines showing you where they are. And I'm going to steal this forklift for no other reason. And please wait until... Well, I'll tell you what. There's going to be a stinger after this video. It's something that happened when I was trying to get CJ back to the garage and it was actually kind of a really weird event but don't forget to stop by my website if you like this video hit the like button if you like videos like this hit the subscribe button I'm trying to get 
a hundred subscribers, maybe even a thousand. Heck, I would like to monetize this channel, and subscribing helps out a lot. As always, thanks for stopping by, and here is the stinger with some explanation. As I was running CJ back to the garage, I decided to steal this car right here and try and do the import-export mission. And the other guy doesn't get out and says I can export the vehicle over at Easter Base and Dock. This is one of the vehicles on the list. So I'm bringing it back to Easter Base and, and this passenger doesn't even jump out. And once he, once I park the car here, I figure I'll let him get out. And I'll park it and I'll drive it around. He's not jumping out, so he's not even bothering to dive out. And I'm wondering, okay, what's going on here? So I park the car, and the guy gets out. And I, then I decide I'm going to beat him up. And I keep hitting him with CJ. And the guy just standing there. And I mean, CJ just put a dent in the door and damaged the door with a fist. And there's a little blood, but the guy, well, he won't go down. So, um, I escalate a little bit here. Gunshots that would have taken the guy down doesn't happen. Knives. Cutting the guy. He's just not going down. He's like invulnerable or something. And there's blood and everything, but what the heck? This guy just won't go down. And this is a glitch that has happened a few times where civilians just don't go down. And now I'm going to the M... The submachine gun that gets the cops attention shotgun blasts and um, I'm like this is nuts so the cops are coming this guy ain't going down and he ain't running away so after a dozen shotgun blasts he's still standing like I said he's immortal man or something so I figure well why not go with Grenades, yeah. Let's throw some grenades at him. And aiming grenades is not real easy. So I chuck a few. Nothing's happening. Cops are coming. Guy, I think I didn't get close enough. So I get a better angle here. And I just chuck a few grenades. There you go. Watch this. Boom. Not even. That should have taken him down. And sniper rifle. I'm going to zoom in and get a good shot at him body shot head shot don't matter not even going down and the cops are coming so now cj has to fight the cops and get away this is where i end up with the police car at the start of the explanation of the import export video all you got to do in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is get CJ back to a safe house. And once he enters the safe house and saves, well, the police wanted level disappears. And that is exactly what I'm doing right now. And once CJ gets out and saves, I'm done with this video.